Hi. Oh my God, all those stories have been great. Like this, Max, you are cooler than the fonts. This is, is great. Um, uh, my name is Milton Granadillo. I'm from Venezuela also. Uh, so I hated going to school. I hated going to school, but not only I would hate going to school, all the members of my family hated the fact that I hated going to school because it was like a process, you know, like every Sunday night as the sun would set, I would start, you know, getting all like Sarah McLachlan sad, you know, <laughs> and my parents could see it. And then every morning, every morning, I remember it still uh, going to school in Caracas and then there was a certain corner that you had to turn to get into my school and then immediately the butterflies would start, I would start crying, and I would start being like, Mom, I don't want to go to school. And I would see, you know, the reflection of my mom in the rearview mirror, rear view mirror just disappointed, like, oh, again, please, no. And my, my brother was also in the same school, but he was in high school, so he, he had the, the privilege of getting off before me. But then my mom had to deal with me because I would stick to the car like like gum on a poodle it was like I couldn't I would just like just I couldn't my mom couldn't like it, she, she had to like yank me like I was like a stretch Armstrong <laughs> and of course like remember like imagine the pain and anger of my mom and I'll be just crying I don't want to go to school my mom would just yanking me all those like desperate housewife just just coming and like judging my mom you know <laughs> And that would make her extra angry, and she had to, like, pull me. And I remember being like, I don't want to go to school. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. And then, you know, uh, the moment that I would step into the school, I was like the model citizen, you know? <laughs> so that made my mom extra angry, you know? Every time she would get, like, the review cards, it was like, oh, your kid is super social at school. <laughs> He's like a leader. And then she was like, I don't get it. And it would happen almost every day. One time the highlight was every couple of months we had like the, you know, the, the Earth Day or whatever. So it would be the whole school, like a thousand kids doing some sort of charade of the tree or whatever. Uh, <laughs> and of course, before it starts, the whole school would get into the same area to watch the play. And then, of course, everyone would be quiet. And one time... At the time that it was the most quiet, all you would hear is, Mom, I don't want to go to school. And then eventually I would start like, help me. Someone help me. And then I started like, brother, brother, help me. And of course my brother was like, ah, who is that kid? And I would be like, Michael, Michael Granadillo, help me. And that would happen so frequently, but also, you know, every time, you know, my mom would get the report cards, it was like, he's perfect. So, of course, it was like, what, what's happening with this moron? Like, what's going on? So, uh, the best day ever was when I was uh, around seven. We're going to school, and I, I still get, like, goosebumps, because the PE teacher was in the front of school, and I could see him in slow motion saying, no school today. <laughs> Go back. And I was like ecstatic. I was like, this is the miracle I've been always wanting. <laughs> Turns out that day there was a coup in my country. <laughs> you couldn't go to school. And of course, you know, uh, the, the, it was very violent. People die. But for me, it was like, I need a coup every day. You know, like, I, 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 I you know. And, and it really was, like, traumatizing because I would, every morning I would be like, but maybe today, I would, this is cool, I need a coup today, you know? And, and I would, like, fantasize about, you know, coach just saying no. And, but it, was, it always, like, puzzled me, like, why, why was that thing of, like, you know, anxiety, but then, like, being cool in school? And, you know, I, I talked to my therapist because, of course, I have a therapist. Uh, <laughs> And she was like, well, the thing is, you know, anxiety presents in different ways. But the thing is, it's just about expectations, you know. So sometimes maybe you were even like excited about school, but the way you interpreted it because of the butterfly in your stomach was afraid. 
but it's like going on a roller coaster. Like right before, you're like super stressed out, but it's actually because you're excited. <laughs> so she's like, you know, keep that in mind every time you like speak in, 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 in public because you love it, but maybe you will feel afraid, you know. So that's the knowledge that I'm giving you guys today. Like maybe... <laughs> Maybe that not going to school is just you're excited about going, you know? So every time I'm like super stressed out about speaking in public, I think about my therapist. And I say, it's just, it's just expectations. And maybe there's going to be a coup. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you.